What's up guys? So here we have some 6,000 pound webbing versus the 4,000 on the old stuff. Um, put a few extra bar tacks in there and also a much longer stitch. This is a hand stitched one versus the machined bar tack. And uh, we're gonna pull on these and see what they break at. But also, uh, Joe is currently setting up um, a way to test the, uh, the strength of the bridge, the saddle bridge. So he's got the two uh, tri rig pods right there. And he's gonna try to mimic uh, the bridge setup on the saddle. And we're gonna pull on it until it breaks. Just like that. So yeah. Just like that. So this, this is going to uh, try to mimic the saddle and what is that, what is that rope rated at? Mm, 7,000. About 7,000 pounds. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of tension. Uh, because this is doubled up, right? Yeah, but the knot cuts it back in half. The, cut, the knot cuts it in half, so the, doubling up the rope Theoretically. is going to double it, but then the knot will cut it in half. So it's going to be about 7,000 pounds, <clears throat> right? Possibly. You want to guess? We're guessing? Um, so 7 times 2 is 14 divided by 2. <laughs> <laughs> Brings it back down to 7. Uh, I'm going to say uh, 85. All right, I'll go 65. 65, all right. I'm an overachiever, apparently. But I don't know anything about these things. <laughs> but uh, these... These knots are gonna compromise things a little bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna bind pretty good too. Like not only is that the the knot gonna get real tight there, but it's gonna have both these both of these are gonna pinch in like that too under yeah. all this load. So that might might snap it right there. It's yeah, it's gonna break right yeah. inside the knot. And what somewhere. are these what are these tri rigs rated at? Uh, yeah. I think there's 36 KM. Like uh, I think I'm covering it with my hand. Yeah, 36 KM right there under my thumb. If this is the focus is, yeah, 36 KM. So, so those will be fine. And uh, all right, let's get this thing set up and break something. I'm gonna wreck it. No way I can. Okay, I'm gonna hold it probably here. We can move the light up more too if we want. I wonder if there's enough light. Um, I can do a, I can do a slow mo. And... Seventy seven. Seventy six. Yeah. That's right in between both of us. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and what was the fault? The, the knot? It's the, the uh, knot busted off, right? I think where did it go? Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So it did uh, exactly what we so thought it, it would. Broke right at the rigging plate. It's funny, it's uh it's funny how it did exactly. You know, it, it times it by two, but then divided by half, so. Look how much smaller those knots are. Yeah. All right, Joe, try to take those apart. I don't think so. <laughs> this is pretty permanent now. Probably oh, that one almost busted too, look. Oh you, yeah. The one you're holding is just about to pop. Yeah, it's starting. Yeah. It almost looks like it melted almost. They do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That comparison of the knot sizes. Yeah. yeah. Boy, that thing's zinging tight. Yeah. <laughs> Permanent. Yeah. But it didn't go through the hole. So that's what right. matters. Right. Yeah, it didn't let go until it physically broke. 
So at 7,600 pounds. Yeah. Just about 7,700 pounds. Cool. All right. Well, let's reset something else. Let's uh, put in a couple more straps. The 6,000 pound webbing. Something heavier that we had uh, kicking around. And uh, so that should theoretically be theoretically good to 12,000 pounds, these straps. Um, but you're going to get a little bit of loss in the, in either the stitching or, or the loop itself. So yeah, should probably do about 11,000 potential for 12, potential for 12. I have a, I have a good feeling that, uh, I have a good feeling that this one's going to hit probably 11.5. I have a strong feeling this one will hit 11.5. That's the hand stitched one. The other one, um, this one here, we got 10 bar tacks on. However, this one here was kind of close at the end. So it's more like nine and a half. I have a feeling this one's gonna pop it around. You wanna say 10? I was gonna say nine. Nine? Okay, I'll say 10. He says 10. So I'm saying 11.5 on that, 10 on this, or sorry, 9 on this. What do you say on uh, the hand stitch one? Uh, I said 11.5. I'll say 11, because we don't actually know where we're at with the stitching. That's true. This is our first splice this, on this, so we're yeah. not sure how long. This is a guess. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good guess. Yeah. All so right. Let's do the bar tech. Do first. the bar tech first. I think we both agree that that one will probably snap earlier. The hand stitching, when it's right, is almost always stronger than the bar tacking. Mm -hmm. So it might be weaker in this situation because the splice might not be big enough because this is our first test, right. but they are the same length, uh, like the stitching area. Both of them are over a five inch segment. Yeah. They both have the, the ingredients to be great. Let's try to center that a little bit in this one. So that it's not the extra light almost affects the camera, <laughs> like negatively. Yeah, because it like focuses on the light. Oh, we're good. Ninety-two hundred pounds. Yeah, both of these. It was the stitching that failed. The bar this packing. Is, yeah, so we need we need more. We need more stitches. We're doing some heavy duty swings. These are. Uh, how do you know how how much pressure you're putting on? Is there a meter or something? Yeah, that little. Oh, this little guy here. Tell you yeah. Yeah. It's a force gauge, and it links up. Links up to the phone. Yeah. This phone that tells right there. Uh, Guys, don't forget, 3,000 subscribers, you could win this made for this bar. Ooh, ah. I'd also like to point out that although Damien's saddle is quite dirty, it's still very comfortable. Peace out. Monkey,